So Half-Life today has turned 25 years old. What the hell? They've updated Half-Life with new content, bug fixes, this new, well, old menu update. They've changed the menu back to how it used to be. They released a fucking documentary. All we fucking need is for Jeff Keighley, based Jeff Keighley, to release them fucking alpha discs that he has sitting in his fucking shelf. That's all I want is them discs. And I'm home. I am home. So I'm just gonna be playing through the game and just talking about my my time with Half-Life and how I got into Half-Life and hello. That's Fuck you. They told me to make sure you had to down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. After watching this this Half-Life documentary, I, I really look at this game differently now. Like knowing the people that he was developed by, and the type of people he was developed by, like, I just look at it so much different. Like, I know the reason for G-Man's existence now, I know why there's the lines on the wall, because players were getting confused. I know why this room looks like a NASA space station, you know, it, 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 it's just, there's these little things you never really think about, but you have the answer to. So how did I get into Half-Life? I got into Half-Life not via the PC version, I played the PC version quite a while after actually uh, microwave by the way haha <laughs> it's gotta be done but i first experienced half-life on the playstation 2 uh my father had it i always used to watch him on the playstation 2 play it why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties can you let me talk uh, and i loved watching him play half-life and i tried to play half-life on the ps2 and i i, I was a god at it I, I was a natural i played it i finished it for him because he got stuck in a level and and i i fell in love i fell in love and i played the game over and over again and i got it on the pc and then duh, 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 then i found out there was a half-life 2 and i was like what the fuck Oh, yes, what the f- Why is my HUD so big? <laughs> In case you didn't know what health I was on, I'm on 100. <laughs> Let's crank that up, please. Curly Billy on the fucking beats. I, I truly feel like a Gordon Freeman. Dario Casali, great level designer. Greg Kuma, uh, you're the, you're the guy from the Half-Life- uh, VR videos. You're an amazing designer. Birdwell, that would be Ken Birdwell. You're good as well. Chuck Jones. Uh, fucking... I forgot your name. Guthrie. Dave Rilla? He's lead. I'll come back to you. Bailey, Kelly Bailey. Soundtrack designer. Sound designer. Brett Johnson. Brett Johnson is actually the one to thank for designing these, these little details of like uh, the, the scientists walking around to, uh, on computers and going up to vending machines. You know, the, basically this whole area is, is Brett Johnson. Freeman, that's me, obviously. Wood, I don't know who that is. Bond, don't know who that is. Backman, don't know who that is. This is the texture artist. So every texture you see in the game, including these probably, it, it was a photo render by her. You and uh, Mark Laidlaw, the writer of the fucking game. No Gabe. Gabe, uh, Gabe didn't want a locker. He he's, got, he's got his own fucking private office. He doesn't need a locker. Anyway, on to the test chamber, Gordon. So I, I have texture filtering turned off and fuck me, that looks terrible. <laughs> it was like oatmeal. Hello. So walking through the halls of Half-Life here, I, I, I grew up here, okay? Black Mesa, I grew up in Black Mesa. Hello, I'm here in the test chamber, please. Do you know what's also happened because of the 25th anniversary? So, they, they've updated Half-Life, right? And they've... It's about to go critical. And they've given it all these new features and uh, bug fixes, whatever. And they've actually discontinued Half-Life Source. Like, it, it's, it's taken off the Steam page. You cannot buy it anymore. It's still on Steam because there's a lot of assets from Half-Life Source that are still being used by, like, Gmod and... Uh, you know, a bunch of other shit. So they haven't taken the game off, but it's just unlisted, which is funny as fuck to think about. Everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit the possibility of a Residence Cascade scenario is extremely likely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this, goddammit. And here we are. This is the, the, the disaster sequence, as it's known internally. This room, or this sequence, was developed overnight uh, in a room at the old valve called the submarine, I believe. They came in one morning and it was it was completed and it, it blew everybody away. And arguably, it, it it still blows some people away. Still blows me away. All right, turning on the microwave. There we go. And it, that, that is what it is. Just, it's a big glorified fucking microwave. I'll chuck one of them Chicago Town mini pizzas on that. Oh yeah. The sample is here. The McDonald's one piece chicken nugget is here. 
Let's fucking do it. That's Half-Life, bitches. Wait a minute. No, they fucking didn't. No! Wait, they fucked it! Okay. So th that was one of the fixes in, in in the in the patch notes was you, like physic pushing physics is isn't based on FPS anymore. So you can't like absolutely shoot objects across the map anymore. You have to. Wow, that, I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that. Sorry. Valve shit game shit update. Oh oh shit! Right, there's a disaster going on. Yeah, uh, that's not good. Hell! Oh shit! Particle effects. 1998 pushing the engine to its limits. Unforeseen consequences. The words that started it all. Like in 1998, they had such limited resources, but they used absolutely everything. They squeezed everything they could out of this game. Like like this this was impressive. This impressed Gabe Newell to fuck when these were made. The spinning lights. Gabe Newell was like, yes, we, we need to keep that. That is good. And it's funny because it doesn't even light up anything. <laughs> it's a transparent texture that just spins. He revived Barney. He's, he's, he's good. And he's totally chill about it. All right, come on, boys. Come on, boys. Hey. Yeah, let's go. No, all right. Well, I'm going to go by myself then. Goodbye. I'm going to stay here and wait for my colleague. Which colleague? No one's coming. No one's coming near this place. Head crab, head crab. Did any of you see how big these fuckers were in the alpha? And now they're like fun sized pocket, pocket toys. And there it is, the weapon of the hour. Speaking of of the hour, death of the hour. Oh, he just gets split in half and he's got like shit coming out and he's like, oh, fuck it, Jesus Christ. Hello, Gordon. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, go on. He's one-handing. Whoa. One-handing the pistol. Look at that. He's dead. No, I got one, Barney. Want some pudding? Sorry, I, I really wanted the gun. That's like my favorite part about this game is just like beating up the bodies, the dead corpses, and just... Like, you smack them once and they just, they're fucking gone. I, I'm really not a fan of how big the HUD is, like, like, crowbar, PISTOL, CROWBAR! It's like, fuck, I get it, man. Chill out. Whoa! Oh, he's still there. No, he's gone. So, I know the reason why this is behind glass. Originally, they wanted this to be, like, out, out in the corridor somewhere, I think. But they put it behind glass so the players didn't fucking disturb the sequence. Just something I learned in the documentary. Watch it. It's, it's very informative about the development. That's Gabe Newell developing the Steam Deck. And here we are for the cutest enemy in Half-Life. The Hound Eye with its fucking black current looking eyes. Wait, what? Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. The gut man. Guts man. Whoa, settle down there. Ready for this? Fucking. Hi? He can't get away. He's on my head, but he's not like killing me. How does, how does that work? Good job, well done. I've always loved his like mouth is on a slant when he talks. He's like, kind of like this. Mouth's on the slant. I don't know, he's British, but... They should have had a British scientist in here. It would have sort of enhanced the experience. Ah, you fucking clown. Yeah, can you do me a favor? Can you stand next to this uh, tank of, of, of danger? So apparently they, they've updated grenade physics. Holy fuck, they have. <laughs> I, there's a huge difference. It, feel, it feels a lot more like... Like, like a grenade you'd throw in like Half-Life 2 or something. Good. Oh, I like that. I like that. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. It's fine. Full squid. Oh, I've been playing Half-Life like all my life. I should, I shouldn't, I should have known better. Used to be able to run up to it on an angle, run, push, and then you'd get, you'd get flung across the bloody, the way, but you, you can't do that anymore. Although that's, that's, that's not very fucking real, is it? Oh, good job. Look at that. 
fucking flawless. Although I lost like half of my life for that. See, see what I fucking did? I fucking did the thing. I said the thing. Kill me. In the last like two years or so, uh, up until now, I've been going through YouTube and watching like various people play through Half-Life 1 for the first time and just watching their entire series on it. And then they, they, every time they always end up loving it. And it, it, it makes me so happy, I suppose. Because like, I'm looking at it and I'm seeing them enjoy the story, enjoy the gameplay. And it, I'm just like, oh, this is fucking amazing. Ooh. It's a bit fucking scary, isn't it? You almost just got killed and you're talking about what? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Hey, Dr. Newell. Scheduled chaos theory. Yeah, right. Chaos theory. He worked in Microsoft. It's beyond chaos. Saved you. Oh, shit. He, he's fucking... He's quick with that door. That's the quickest I've ever seen you open that door, Barney. Well done. Maybe, maybe in another 25 years, you, you'll just, like, have the door open ready for me. We're gonna try out some Half-Life Uplink. It's included as the as part of the main game now. So let's see what Half-Life Uplink has to offer. I've played this uh a few times. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Those doors will not open until we send the all clear. So send it already. Where's he going? Barney? <laughs> He's got ADHD. He's just like <laughs> Why don't you just contact somebody in the dome to turn it on? Why why do I have to why do I have to do this? Let's get the crowbar. Break that, and then this blows up, and then there's like a secret area, right? Yes. I remember some stuff. I, I've mainly played this in like Sven Co-op. I haven't really played like the original per se. But yeah, you got the shotgun in here. Lovely. Bonnie! No! Fuck! Well, fuck it! Alright, 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 alright. There's, there's marines in here, right? Oh yeah, there's marines, alright. Oh, four health, fuck. Ready, ready? <laughs> Survived on four health and he is spread, ready to receive. To the Black Mesa storage yard. Where, where there's nothing... Uh, behind this. Oh, uh, hmm. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Hi, guys. Radio. BBC Radio 1. Okay. <laughs> Got so excited to see me that he blew himself up. Revolutionary AI, they said. Isn't there a sniper in this area? I, I I remember there being a sniper. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, yeah, sort of. Oh. No, I'm fine. Okay. Fucking slag, suck your mother. Well, anyway, with that out of the way, oh look, it's 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 the dome. Is this? Is hang on. Yeah, I'm glad they took the time to burn the Vortigons, By the way. <laughs> Fucking suck your dad. Let's get some health. Uh, ooh, right, okay. Who who are we contacting today, boys? The CIA, NASA, the Pentagon. Tune the transmitter to the USNRC. I repeat, tune to the USNRC. Okay, I'm tuning. All right, we we have we have done it. Oh shit! Why is there a ca fuck? All right, well I've I've tuned the radio. What else do you want? I need a protection suit. High radiation. Yeah, good. In the sewers. Oh, fucking hell. Look, what the fuck? Carrying two bodies at once. What a chad. <laughs> you stupid fuck. Wait, what? 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 Whoa, whoa. I didn't, I, I, I didn't even mean to save you. Oh. Oh, and there's more. Why is there more? 
Okay, just run, just run, just run. Fucking dodge all the fucking bullets. My name is Jordan Freeman, and I am the Half-Life. I hear more voting on s somewhere. Oh, ho, ho, ho. There we are, take about five. Who would have thought you would still be alive? Yeah, I'm still here, mate. Oh, no. I hear a big boy. Big boy. A big fucking boy. A big boy. Let's go and see let's go and see the big boy, shall we? The big boy. Big meaty boy. Big meaty claws. Oh fuck. Yeah, I'm not ready either. Go on, mate, scrap him. Scrap him. Get your knife out. No. Beat this, you bastard. G Man, do something. Bonnie Oh, Bonnie, you're fucked. You're fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Good night, Bonnie. And Gordon Freeman looks like is dead as well. Okay, whoa! Hi, man. Hi, hi. Don't, don't kill me, please. Gordon, Gordon, jump. Gordon, jump. No. Current evaluation. Uplink completed. So if you haven't played Half Life, go play it. It's very good. And then buy the whole fucking series because it's literally pennies to buy the whole series right now. Half Life Two is like sixty pence. The episodes are, are, are like fifty pence each or something like that. It's, it's, it's so, such a good deal. Yeah.